The Raiders have made a bold move that has shocked everyone, and there's a lot to talk about today. As we've been covering here, the team's been struggling, but this new change could be exactly what they need for a turnaround. So, before we dive into this game-changing news, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and have notifications turned on so you never miss the latest Raiders updates. Now, let's get into it. Here's the scoop. Joe Philbin, the new offensive line coach, is taking over after a series of moves that have left everyone stunned. Interim head coach Antonio Pierce made the tough decision to fire three offensive coaches, including the offensive line coach James Craig. This is huge. The Raiders' offense has been stuck in neutral this season, and the offensive line in particular has been a major weakness. In fact, according to Pro Football Focus, the Raiders are ranked 27th in run blocking, and they've allowed 95 pressures, which is 7th most in the league along with 19 sacks, tied for second most. Clearly, the offensive line has been underperforming, and it's been a major part of the struggles we've seen on offense. So can Joe Philbin turn things around? Let's look at his track record. He's no stranger to fixing offensive lines. Philbin's tenure with the Colts from 2016 to 2017 started rocky, with the team allowing a league-high 262 pressures. But by 2017, things improved, and the sacks and pressures dropped. Fast forward to his time with the Cowboys from 2020 to 2022, and his impact was undeniable, particularly in 2021 when his unit allowed just 11 sacks, the fewest in the NFL. Yes, there were ups and downs, but Philbin has shown he can make adjustments and get results when he has the right players. Now, the question is, can Philbin bring that same magic to the Raiders? We all know he's got his work cut out for him, but do you think he can fix this line, or is it too late for a turnaround this season? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. More Raiders news is coming your way soon. With Joe Philbin now at the helm of the Raiders' offensive line, there's a lot of eyes on the team to see how quickly they can turn things around. But what's the real key to fixing this line, and how can the Raiders make sure they stay competitive as the season progresses? Let's talk about the Raiders' strengths and weaknesses moving forward. One thing that's clear is that they have some talented pieces on offense, but the line has been holding them back. Josh Jacobs, the reigning NFL Offensive Player of the Year, has been far from his best this season, largely due to the lack of holes created by the offensive line. The pressure on the quarterback has also been a huge issue, making it hard for Jimmy Garoppolo or any QB to get comfortable in the pocket. Philbin's main task will be to create some consistency up front and give the playmakers the support they need. Looking ahead, the matchups will play a big part in whether the Raiders can get back on track. The schedule doesn't get any easier, but there are opportunities. If Philbin can instill some discipline and better protection schemes, the Raiders' offense could finally take shape. The Raiders' defense, which has been much more solid this season, might keep them in games long enough for the offense to find its rhythm. But the real test will be how quickly the offensive line improves, especially in run blocking. If Jacobs can get going, we could see a more balanced offense emerge. As for strategy, it's going to be all about making adjustments in the trenches. The Raiders need to be more aggressive in their blocking schemes, maybe even mixing in some more quick passes to neutralize the pressure. What do you think? Is it possible for this offensive line to come together under Philbin, or are they destined to struggle through the rest of the season? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for all the latest updates on your favorite team.